So in this video, I'll be doing a uh, cleaning on my map sensor for this 2004 Honda Odyssey EX. The sensor is located right in here. I do it like once a year when I uh, replace my uh, air filter. And so um, uh, what I'm using is a 10 millimeter deep socket, about five inch uh, extension and half a quarter inch uh, ratchet. Okay, so. Uh, what you uh, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take these four 10 millimeter bolts out right here and right here. Okay, just lose them all out, and uh, you should be able to lift this whole thing up like so. Okay. Now it expose the sensor, which is this one right here. Okay, and for this one, I'm gonna need a Phillips screwdriver to take that out. And then to disconnect it, you just press this this button right here, okay? And then you see that, that green thing lifting up, press it, and then wiggle it, it come out like that, okay? So, Phillips screwdriver to take out this map sensor. Okay, your standard Phillips screwdriver, loosen it out. And careful not to drop this, okay? That's a screw for it, and you just wiggle it left, right, left, right, left, right, and pull it straight out. Really simple. All right, so in there, what I'm going to do, I'm going to spray uh, mass airflow sensor cleaner in there, lubricate the o ring, clean this area up, and then put them back. Okay, using this mass airflow sensor cleaner, put the straw on, spray it, just test to clear the uh, obstruction inside the straw first okay and then aim it inside the hole right there okay wear safety goggles if you need to because this thing can splash out like that okay okay shake it up a little bit and drain it and allow it to dry about five minutes meanwhile I'm going to use the same rag here. I'm going to clean this area. Okay, you want to wipe the uh, dirty part away from the hole. Like so. Really simple to do. So, what I did is I used silicone paste this, in this tube right here. I just put uh, on a screwdriver and I just apply it around the O-ring. Okay, you want to inspect the O-ring to make sure uh, that it's in good shape, all right? And of course you want to clean the sensor. All right, so uh, after about five minutes, uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this and line the bolt hole up right there. Okay, because I put silicone on that O-ring, so it should be easy to slide in. Snap in like that. Then you turn it, align the bolt hole, like so. Take your screw, put it in. Tight down with the screwdriver. This thing don't have to be super tight, okay? So don't try to strip them. Like so, just snug them, take this, put them in, and you should hear a snap. Boom, right there, okay? Okay, so to put this thing back, the easiest uh, way for me is I'm look through this inspection hole here, and I'm going to align this bolt. Okay, you see this bolt here have a pilot? at the end there so basically you look through that inspection hole okay and you aligned it so the the uh the pilot is on here okay that way everything else lined up for you so i put the bolt back in the hole here so i got the bolt in now i'm gonna set this on top like so okay and i'm gonna look through here and you know, I press my finger down there and I can see the head of that bolt. Make sure that this thing lines first, okay? And then everything else should come in really easy. 
All right, so once I have this thing aligned, that pilot hole in that, uh, that pilot point into that hole, now I can use my 10 millimeter socket here, okay? Uh, right now, I'm just gonna tight it in, okay? Make sure it's started. And everything else should line up. Yep, everything is lined in really easy if you use this inspection hole, okay? And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching, and I see you next time. Bye.